Taylor complained that hardly a workman can be found who doesn't devote his time to studying just how slowly he can work. And then he devoted his life to speeding them up. When Taylor was brought in, he first timed the workers with stopwatches and noted their every movement. In a famous experiment at an ironworks, he reorganized a worker named Schmidt. Previously, Schmidt had hand-carried 12 tons of pig iron a day up from a wagon. After Taylor rearranged things, the tolerant Mr. Schmidt found himself carrying 47 tons, and production had been raised 300%. Called into an office, Taylor helped the world's fastest typist type even faster. The new world record of 150 words a minute was achieved by Margaret Owen, and Taylor claimed much of the credit. At Ford's factory, Taylorism meant dividing automobile production into simple repetitive steps. There would be no need for skilled craftsmen with years of apprenticeship. Men could learn to do any job quickly. A trained wheelwright no longer made each wheel in its entirety. Wheel making was broken down into almost a hundred steps, done by different men at different machines. It was much faster, but workers could still complete only 200 cars a day. So in 1913, Ford introduced his most revolutionary change yet.